Mixtape offers Serato Scratch Live users a great way to record their mixes. So whatever you play in Serato Scratch Live will be saved as an Ableton Live set. What is recorded depends on what hardware you own. With an SL1 or SL3, you'll get song name and placement. With a TTM57 or TTM68, you'll also record EQ, up faders, and cross fader movement. To get started, open Serato Scratch Live and press the record button. Before you start your mix, select ALS in the input menu. Press the record button and make your mix. Ableton Live doesn't need to be open when you make a mixtape. What you play will be written in an Ableton Live set, creating a multi-track arrangement complete with automation. Again, this depends on which particular hardware you own. We're using a Rain TTM57 here. You can do everything you normally do in Scratch Live, such as beat juggle and use cue points. Mix and cut between audio files and use your crossfader. You can use the up faders. EQ and kill switches. And play the way you normally would in Serato Scratch Live. When you're done, press the record button again and stop recording. Give your mixtape a title and press the save button. Now quit out of Serato Scratch Live. In our Serato Scratch Live recordings folder, you'll find an Ableton Live set. When we open this set, we can see all the crossfade automation. And the EQ and up fader automation we recorded in Ableton Live. Let's say you are in the 59th minute of a mix and something unexpected happens. You can go back and edit this automation. Edit song placement. Polish your mix using live effects. And export your mix as a wave or a file. If you want to get creative, you can also embellish the mix with Live's drum rack. Or add virtual instruments to your mix. The bridge is free for registered owners of Serato Scratch Live and Ableton Live 8.